thought it was fair to say what was literally true. There is not a counterintelligence investigation of Mr. Trump. What was it about that meeting that led you to determine that you needed to start putting down a written record? I was honestly concerned that he might lie about the nature of our meeting. Why didn't you stop and say, Mr. President, this is wrong. I cannot discuss this with you. I was so stunned. I've seen the tweet about tapes. Lordy, I hope there are tapes. Did you show copies of your memos? Yes. So I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter. Here now to react, somebody who's dealt with a lot of FBI directors in his time, James Kallstrom, former FBI assistant director who joins us now. Uh, Jim, first of all, it is becoming a he said, he said sort of thing. Uh, Jim Comey says the president lies. Uh, the president said that he lied about uh, the demanding loyalty statement. Do you have a horse in this? Can you, do you trust one or the other? <laughs> Hi, David. How are you? Fine. Um, I thought Comey really made a fool out of himself today. I mean, I, I think it's clear now that, you know, there's on a few facts. Number one, he, the president was not under investigation. Right. Absolutely. Uh, you know, without question. Uh, number two, I mean, he was eager to see if any of his uh, cohorts, or, or as you call them, satellites, uh, were, and he asked to uh, be notified of that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this, this whole Russian thing is just basically a, a bunch of BS. Who do I believe? Uh, I don't believe Jim Comey, uh, because here's the reason, and this isn't political. This isn't about, about Democrats and Republicans. I have a pretty low opinion of the vast majority of all of them, quite frankly, David. But Jim Comey, you know, was just not up for the task. When he got the note or the, or the phone call or, or, the, or a conversation with the, the attorney general to, uh, you know, have this investigation of Hillary Clinton and uh, – but, you know, don't call it an investigation. Call it something else. And, um, and by the way, uh, you don't impanel a grand jury either. You know, at that, on that day, I mean, he should have seriously considered resigning uh, because you don't conduct major investigations by calling them something else. Yeah. Uh, you don't conduct major investigations by not impaneling a grand jury because then you cannot compel any kind of testimony or get search warrants, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But even with the, with the inability of doing that, you know, he chose, uh, the music was playing, and he chose to, de to dance with the devil. And, uh, and this investigation went on, sort of a shell investigation for months. But there was so, such a proliferation of, of evidence and about 10 federal felonies that even without a grand jury, you know, when he had that prosecution memo that he read of all the things that she did, you know, uh, and then the preposterous decision, uh, and the attorney general the day before said, I'll go with whatever the FBI right, director says. Right. So it was all. By the way, Jim, know, let me just, for those, for those who might have missed that section of the testimony of Comey talking about Loretta Lynch, let's just play that uh, and get your direct reaction to actually what was said. Right. At one point, the attorney general had directed me not to call it an investigation, but instead to call it a matter, which confused me and concerned me. Now, could that itself be considered obstruction of justice? There's always talk about the president obstructing justice here. We didn't hear evidence of that, or I don't think we did. But was that obstruction of justice what Loretta Lynch Absolutely tried to do? Absolutely. That was, yes, that was obstruction of justice. And it was obstruction of justice when, when, uh, when, when uh, President Obama said publicly on numerous occasions, there's no evidence uh, to investigate Hillary Clinton. There's, they have nothing. He said that numerous times. And was it obstruction of justice when the FBI was told not to investigate the IRS uh, that, you know, went out of their way to basically pounce on thousands of, of private American citizens for no reason whatsoever other than politics? Yeah. And was it, was it corruption when they decided, you know, not to prosecute the perjury cases uh, from Benghazi and, and the other perjury on, on the IRS? So there's a, there was an awful lot of okay. that going around. Uh, Jim, we're, we're almost out of time. I just got to ask you, there's another former FBI director, Mueller, who is now investigating all this as, as a special prosecutor. 
Uh, his investigation, who knows how long, some of these investigations have lasted years. Um, he can go anywhere he wants. Is he going to, do you think he will limit this investigation to all the stuff that we've been hearing? Or might he go back to Donald Trump's history 10, 15 years ago uh, if, if facts were, because we remember the Whitewater investigation, nobody thought it would lead from an SNL, which was originally being investigated, to Monica Lewinsky. Uh, David, I don't know. Uh, I think the decision to appoint uh, a special counsel was, was foolish and a weak. And, to, and Bob Mueller I know very well. He's an honorable person. But the problem with Bob Mueller being involved here is he's got a 25-year close friendship with Jim Comey. I mean, what's that about? I mean, that's a clear conflict of interest if he goes there and looks at Comey's activities to, uh, while he was director. So I don't understand that part of it either. All right. Jim Kallstrom, a former FBI assistant director, joining us. Jim, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Melissa.